What's up guys, this is your professional snooker coach Willius Tebert. Today I wanted to analyze Karen Wilson, which is one of the best leading young players in today's world snooker. His work ethic, determination to win and technique are the most impressive qualities in his game. I believe in the soon future he will win many more ranking titles because he has a huge upside. If you are new in this channel, so what you are waiting for? Smash the like button, subscribe and hit notification bell if you want consistently to see more beneficial videos like this so you could think and play like the best snooker players in the world do. Let's analyze his Q action and explain how he does it. Let's begin! The most noticeable part of his technique is his Q delivery. After the last backswing, he starts delivering Q very slowly and then finishes with the smooth acceleration. The fantastic part of his technique that allows him to have a gentle touch and cue ball control around the whole table because he delivers cue very smoothly most of the time. The downside is that on a bad day his timing could be slightly off because of deceleration of delay follow through position. So very rarely, especially under pressure, his could be struggle a little bit. The power game is not the biggest strength, but despite this, his Q action is one of the best in the world. Snooker Basics Video Course is a snooker training material to help you transform your snooker game and take to another level. Improve aiming, overall technique, cubo control, rest play, snooker escapes and make proper snookers. Interested? If yes, so don't wait and order a Snooker Basics video course today. Kyra is quite a tall man, so this is one of the reasons why he is bending his leading leg slightly to be more level with the table and feel more comfortable. Some coaches say that leading leg should be straight no matter what because this is the best way to have a decent balance. I can entirely agree with that because I think everybody, every player is different and feels in certain way. So if the player bends knees but feels comfortable and in balance, that is fine completely. Karen does short approach very well. His body, head and the cue are always on the straight aiming line. It allows him to have a perfect center cue ball striking and be extremely good with the long potting, which is a huge bonus in today's attacking snooker game. Cue tip as close to the cue ball, decent follow through position, right elbow dead straight behind his head, front pause, back pause, rock solid stance, stays still during the shot and has a natural and smooth grip. Karen does everything exceptionally well. It is one of the reasons why he is so consistent in his game all the time. If you want to improve your aiming, cue action, cue ball control, tactics and mental game, book online snooker coaching with the professional EBC snooker coach Vilus Schulte Ebert. With the rest play, Karen just replicates what he does with the regular shot. Cue tip as close to the cue ball. Rest distance is the same as a bridge hand distance. Beautiful and smooth backswing and delivery. He uses two finger grip on the rest and his right arm is slightly below 45 degrees angle, which allows him having excellent follow through and straight cue delivery. I consider him Sean Murphy, Jimmy White or the best rest players in the game ever. So guys, what do you think about this video? Did you learn something valuable so that you could use into your own game? Leave your comments below in the description box and let me know what do you think. Also, tell me which sort of video you want to see next and I will try to make it as soon as possible. Keep loving snooker folks!